Hi, I'm MTG, and welcome to my channel where I waste my wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And today we are rocking another commander that I have built out in paper. Though I have to say, this version in Historic Brawl is a lot meaner than the one I have in paper because the one I designed in paper is supposed to be like more, you know, mid power casual than just gross extra turn kind of stuff. So. That's what we're looking for today, so if you're into that kind of stuff and, you know, a little bit of spicy Azorius control, then this is going to be quite a fun deck for you. So, with no further ado, let's go check out the deck list, and I will see you in a second. Alright friends, today we are rocking Taigam Ochutai Master, and I'm really happy about this because this is another commander that I have in paper, and the one that I built out for that is a guilty free kind of version where it's just more about like copying what other people are doing, but you know, I'm in historic brawl. I don't have to worry about rule zero conversations. We can be gross. So because of that, we're gonna do some spicy Azorius control things. And with what this commander does specifically is that they passively just keep your instant sorcery and dragon spells that you control from being countered. And whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, if they attack this turn, that spell gains rebound. So rebound is going to be pretty spicy. It is sometimes hard, like when you're forced to attack in order to get this trigger, but we have things to help make our commander unblockable in this deck so that we can try to get the rebound value when we can. As far as other supporting pieces of this, I've been finding that Lavinia, Azorius Renegade, has been super clutch to kind of shut down a lot of the broken things that people are doing, specifically with like anything that's Discover or Cascade, because each opponent can't cast non-creature spells with mana value greater than the number of lands that player controls, and whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. So again, really good for just shutting down like a Modi type broken things. I have uh, O'Hare Pakpakik, Pop, however you say it, uh, as kind of our backup commander. It only rebounds stuff for instant spells, but you know, at least it's another thing that helps with creating that rebound generation. And of course we have other things in this deck like Monastery Mentor or Archmage that are just going to profit when we are casting spells, specifically sorcery or instant spells. And if we're able to rebound them, that's potentially a free additional card draw on our upkeep. And then other things to help us really close out the game and just gain, you know, advantage from our opponents is sprinkling in some extra turn spells. And it feels pretty darn great being able to rebound those kind of things. But yeah, so overall, that's kind of what this deck's about. We're wanting to control the board. We're wanting to bonk face and make our stuff unblockable where it matters. But yeah, I'm excited to show you how this does because it is a spicy commander. So I will see you out there. Well, Trotha. Okay. Uh, let's do free moly. Mm, not a lot going on in this hand. That makes me super happy, but probably that extra turn spell. There's a lot of gross stuff here. Hmm, the wash away. That makes sense though. Have you considered? Please tell me, friend. Ooh, we'll keep that. I like mana. Do you like mana, friends? Need to remember to do the Loyal Warhound first before I play Land Drop. I do that so much where I forget to do that for the trigger. I mean, I'm assuming they have a third Land Drop here. Yeah. Yeah. Loyal Warhound. I was going to say, I don't imagine opponent countering that. And this buddy lets you cast permanents and play lands from your graveyard. So they're a pretty spooky commander, even though they are higher CMC. Boop. And put that friend in. And we're at four lands, but I don't want to put our commander in without protection. Enough with the mysteries. I've <gasps> sacrificed. Sad. Sacrifices must be made. Mm -hmm. Let's get O'Hare. Because, oh dear. 
I don't know if that worked. <laughs> Let's say it was funny. Right? Drop it. I think we can discard Lorian. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> we both discarded our enchantment ETB creatures. That's really, really funny. Midnight clock. Grim Tutor. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we definitely want another land drop if possible. They're tapped out, so I feel a little bit better about dropping this time warp. Because with O'Hare, we have whenever you cast an instant spell. Oh, it's only instant. JK, JK. Um, let's start with a bonk. Oop. A delay. Nothing more. I really want to be greedy with this extra turn spell. You think they got a board wipe? We'll see. They have enough for their commander. Will they play their commander? Hmm? Will you turn into a Twizha? My commander. Commander was treasurefied. Just like you. It's elevated to your status, friends. Never dies. Let's uh, use this for a blue. Then we use take action. Then we'll go toot, toot, toot. Put in tolerant. And then hopefully, with whatever mana we have <laughs> left for counter spells, will be enough. Um. Okay. They're playing around it pretty darn well, I think. We are stuck in the ways of land, which I guess... I was trying to keep this for the card drop, but... I think I'm just gonna cycle it. Make sure we hit that other land drop. Let's get Haloed Fountain. And we'll go ahead and pay two life. Shock that on in. They have no cards in hand. So I'm just gonna put in tag game. And then we're gonna attack. Oop, oop. Okay. Okay, commanders enter the chat. Okay. Hmm, that is the perfect top deck. We'll say protection from Swampy Poo. So, uh, black. Oh, and we top deck that. That's gross. Okay. Uh, next, we'll go to combat. We'll attack here and attack here. Boop, boop. And then this should win it for us. Time warp. Make a buddy. Woo! G heckin' G's. Alright. Our set. Shenanigans. Hmm. I think we need more than that. Ugh. Well, again, what is with this land base hurting us so bad? Have 40 lands. Seemed like it was a pretty good distribution of both. Now I just feel like they're mocking us. Yeah, we definitely need a planes. Look at that. Double mocking us. Oof. That sucks, friends. Okay. This might not go well for us. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Planes, because we basic. Put in this friend. And, yeah. Yeah. 
What do y'all think? Oh, it's... I was thinking it was the uh, one that cast stuff from your graveyard. It's really scary, Narset. So whenever they attack, exile top four cards of your library until end of turn you may cast non-creature spells from among those without paying for the mana cost. That's gross. I'm trying to think of what enchantment this is going to be. As foretold? Mm-hmm. Hath been foretold. That is scary to think what they're doing with that. Let's put you in, Arcane Signet. And we are at four mana. They're going to put in foretold. They have enough to uh, aid the extra one, so might as well just get the commander in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Extra turns. It's a little extra. I mean, you can attack if you want. Mm hmm. Tis prison. Take action. Let's put in Shark Typhoon. Hopefully, it resolves. I'm not respecting their blue mana, apparently. And I'll just actually put in the destroy disruption tapped because it feels like a useless counter spell at this point. That's so creature. Okay. Ooh. Um is it combat damage? Okay. No. And they're hexproof. Man, that's brutal. Okay. Let's put in my commander. I'll put this in. And... I'm gonna just do this now so we can try filtering for some more stuff. Okay. Um... Man, this is a tough decision here. And I think disdainful stroke. Hopefully I don't regret that. And we'll bonk for one. Oop. Spooky. Okay. House. Very good. Honor the past. Draw a card. Then you make discard a card. And then you throw that damage. So they're probably blowing up my commander. E. Take action. So I'm not going to block with my shark you. Because I want to be able to attack the Narset if I can. And not like Rivers rebuke it back to their hand. So we're just going to take the damage here. Okay. Uh, no blocks. I don't know if they're going to cast that farewell. Wouldn't that hurt them a little bit more? Are they just going to let the farewell go? Yeah. Okay. So here's what we are going to do. We will start with Loran. Uh, resolve. I think we're okay with that. Resolve. And then put you in. And then we're gonna go to combat. We'll attack here. Okay. Boop. And then I think we put things back. Because they're tapped out and they use their counter spell on Loran. They do get Prison Realm back to hand, unfortunately, but you know, they're probably gonna take this 6 6 token. I was trying to be a little greedy earlier, <laughs> trying to get my commander to uh, attack so then I could rebound the River's Rebuke, but. Mm, okay. Well, now I'm gonna have this uh, negate mana up for the prison realm. Of course, I don't know if they have another counter spell in hand, but interesting. Well, this is very good for us. Um, 
just making sure I am leaving up Anna for a gate. Boop. Okay. And then we're gonna hecka attack. And I think their farewell is just permanently exiled too, so that's nice. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Shenanigans. Resolve. Don't have a counter spell. Up, 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 please. Because I want to negate the heck out of that prison room. Yee. Oop. Heck yeah. Woo! They didn't have the counter. That feels good, friends. Resolve. Yeah, yeah. Narset has entered the chat. Pass. Are we just one shy of lethal in the air? I think so. But I can discard that friend. And then we can go to combat. I'll attack here, here, here. Oop. All these friends. And I believe that's lethal. I didn't math, though. I was too scared to do math. Well, I guess I did math. Whether or not I did it correct is different. G. Heck and G's. Mm -hmm. This could be really devastating if we still hit our land drops, so I'm gonna keep a greedy... a greedy hand, possibly. Oop. So far not punished, knock on wood. And we have wash away stuff up. We have counter spell up. Like that. Getting that out of our life ahead of time. Oop. We have so many counter spells. Okay. All we needed really was three lands, right? Who needs to play their commander? We'll see if we hit our other land drops. I don't think they'll get a ton from us either. Kind of worried we're not gonna live to see our land drops. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna have to do that. Done. Land drop. Gotta love it. Boom, their favorite mana type too, I'm sure. Blue. Because they still can't cast their commander, so we should be okay. Yeah, one, one short. Yeah, we can't do it yet. We need to have at least one mana up for countering Gyruda. Creature or Planeswalker. We have none of those things. They at least can see how many counter spells we have. The fun Azorius shenanigans. Tapped land. So we're still not going to put in our commander. <laughs> we do have River's Rebuke, so if they do steal our stuff, we can return things back to our hand. Because it says Owner's Hand. So I think they're just going to force out the uh, counter spell while they can. Get our commander in. Yeah, so they're just gonna wanna blink. They're just gonna wanna blink, Stiff. Protection from black, unless they counter. Or they can't counter, because 
Like that was better end, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, we need a land drop. Won't turn that down. Okay. Take action. Temple of Enlightenment. We are enlightened. Uh, yeah, I think we can keep that going. Yeah, we'll just hang out. We'll hang out, friends. Okay. Two Thassas? Two Thassas. Thassai. I mean, I might as well try the Shark Typhoon. Okay, I resolved. Sweet. Sweet, question mark? Let's do Choice of Fortune. Decline, we'll keep those friends. We'll try to blow that up, I guess. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Is it evens that they get? Player mills four cards, put a creature card with even mana value. Okay. Children, we just have the non token thingies are gonna be fine, I think. Are we just gonna win with Shark Typhoon? That'd be kind of funny. Is this instant? It is instant. Well, we can't really put in any creatures because they're gonna blink shield red. So let's do this. We'll put you in, and let's go ahead and attack. Sweet. Mm -hmm. That's fine with me. They whiffed, but I'm guessing they're blinking again. Great. Or did they hit my Archmage? I think most of the creatures I have are, uh, sorry, I was thinking here. If I Tefro and then Rivers Rebuke on my turn, I think that's a win, right? Oop. So they still get my, um, library milled because it only protects target, and this one says each player, but they're not gonna get much for me. It's more about what they're getting. Oh, I'm glad I uh, phased my stuff out with that Masker Worm. <laughs> Draw. Resolve. Okay. They're tapped out as well. So we are going to bounce their stuff back. And then I think we go hit face. Attack. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely wasn't expecting to not be able to play anything. That's kind of funny. Nice. My little shark typhoon army. They're all gone now. Ooh, what'd you all discard? That's a lot. Boom. Okay. Vega. Just Sky Elder. You wouldn't punch a Gram Gram, would you? You wouldn't hurt a Gram Gram, would you? Okay. <clears throat> they would hurt a Gram Gram. Guess I'll put in the brooch. The brooch. 
Iruda is entering the chat. Did they just hit Solemn? Oh, uh, no, they got Spark Double. Okay. That's fun. Hey, Shark. Let's put in Nikos, and we are going to bonk for two. Oh. And then I think we attempt a farewell here. So we exile all creatures and graveyards. Okay. Put in this friend, and they'll probably kill it with shielded, but what? Yeah. So I was kind of hoping that would happen. So then I could do this. Hopefully it resolves. If it doesn't, it won't be the end. Okay. Think Shark Typhoon still triggers? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll have Ow. So now if they blink and force me to sacrifice Ow, then I get some spicy shenanigans. Hopefully, at least. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll do this. We'll get O'Hare in. Whoop. It's all these flyers. Probably really obnoxious. Kind of funny. I'll just put in the commander. And good game. Go for the four. Boop. G heckin' G's. That was an interesting game. <laughs> Woo. Mm -hmm. This feels a bit risky to keep remotely. Uh, okay. I kept solely for the authority of the consoles, but we have no way to <laughs> cast it. Unless you top deck a planes. Oh my goodness! And we did! I love it. That's really funny. Okay. This will be interesting. Are they going to play it at instant speed? Aha! Wait. I thought I said without flying for a second. Errant and Giada is a very fun commander too. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put in Castle Vantress. And we'll go bonk them. Boom. Look at that. How do you like it, friends? How do you like it? Just gonna take turns bonking each other. That's fair. Boop. My turn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pay one, two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put in that and say human. No problem paying the Joyry Disruption. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wave Breaker Hippocampus. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. One, two. Alright. Let's put you in tapped. 
and we will hold back this friend so we don't take too many bonks. Okay, commander's coming in. We will reject it. Reject it. Pass. Oh yeah, that was weird. Boop. I think we just need to get some blockers in. Uh, let's do Ottawara. Let's get my commander in. And then I'm gonna do security bypass on my commander. Boop. And Aaron Giada does have flash. They're casting stuff at the top of their library. They can cast stuff flash or flying. Okay. Commander has entered the chat. Um I'm gonna attack first. Boop. And let's discard is connive just a non-land? Non-land. Um God's willing. Then we put in this planes. Uh, I think we will then blow that up. So we get rebound. And then I do want to put in the swiftiest of boots because we'll have enough to equip them to you. And end turn. There we go. Shenanigans. Resolve. I'm gonna counter it. Whoop. Hopefully I'm not getting too counter crazy over here. Oh. GG's. Too much. Too many counters. I don't blame you. Alright friends, I hope you had fun watching. I have to say, I think the MVP card in this deck was Shark Typhoon. Just making those sharks and bonking face was so fun. And I'm not used to being able to get a ton of value off of this card because I feel like it gets blown up pretty quickly. But we were able to keep it protected through a lot of different scenarios. So it definitely helped us win a lot of games. So MVP for me. Good job, friend. But yeah, I hope you had fun uh, watching. Let me know what are some of your favorite cards for this commander if you played this commander. And if you haven't played this commander, what are some cards that you think would fit really well with them? I always like to hear your thoughts on that. But, you know, on that note, I hope you all have a good one, and bye!